All right, so the other night, um, I think in this video, I mentioned the Lakers and the Warriors game and how I said that I think the Lakers might have the possibility to break the Warrior streak and whatnot. Um, but one of the main reasons that I said that was because I didn't think that the Warriors would beat the Bulls in Michael Jordan's record. That was pretty much one of the main things. Um, because Michael Jordan is pretty much their, the NBA's god still. So they literally, everything, nobody beats Michael Jordan. I mean, they might beat a few records, but that team was like, you know, special and whatnot. But the thing is, is that they, the Warriors weren't actually going to beat the Bulls record. For some reason, I thought that it was the, when the Bulls were 72 and 10, they had the streak. That's not the case. It's actually, was the Washington Capitals and the Houston Rockets streak that the Warriors beat. So the first team that had the 15 wins in a row and then they lost in their 16th game was the Washington Capitals, and it was the 1948-49 season. And then uh, the, the Houston Rockets tied them in the 1993-94 season. Interesting, so this is the 48-49 season. And the Rockets actually won the NBA Finals in 1994 and 95. So the 93-94 season, 94-95 season. And it was actually the 48th and the 49th seasons of the NBA. So the Washington Capitals have the record in 1948. And then the Rockets uh, tie it in the 48th season of the NBA. And funny too, in that the previous video I talked about how 15 and 1 adds up to 64, just like Stephen Curry, but uh, 64 adds up to 49, and then I mentioned Chicago Bulls, 49. You know, even 1994 is literally the mirror of 49. Also, the Warriors play in the 49ers state, or whatever, the California. And I'll actually go back to that later if I have time. If not, I'll just make a part two to this video. Um, I've discovered some other crazy stuff about Flip Saunders and Moses Malone that ties in with uh, some of these seasons here, the 1994-95 season, the 49th season. But uh, interesting too, you know, after I made that video, I had, I had left a message on like Google Plus or something, and I said that the Lakers might actually get blown out for the very same reason that I explained the coding or whatever, because Kobe tore his Achilles versus Golden State in 2013, and so on. But anyway, there a ton of the stuff that I actually talked about actually turned up in this game, especially dealing with Kobe Bryant and the number 34. First off, the Lakers lost by 34 points. I talked a little bit about some of the 34 surrounding Kobe. Um, you can go back and watch my videos, just type in probably Kobe Bryant, 81 point game or Kobe Bryant Philadelphia and my little search thing. I, I talk about a lot of 34 stuff. Interesting, the 34 stuff ties into the Civil War and Abraham Lincoln as well. And the Lakers, when they lost, they finished 2, two and 12 now. Um, Abraham Lincoln was born on 2 12, the 43rd day of the year, the mirror of 34. So if I would have seen that, I guess I might have changed my mind a little bit. I just, I didn't pay that much attention to it. And, you know, speaking of, like, civil war and domestic violence and whatever, Kobe and Shaq, right, they had all them problems. They couldn't play with each other because they had to be better or whatever. Shaq was number 34. Civil war, if you add it up in Gematria, equals 43 even. I also did not see an article where Kobe said that he's seen crazier things happen and they might go into Golden State and play like a bunch of gangbusters. Interesting, um, gangbusters adds up to 43 and 133. Now, 133 ties into Pope Francis. If you do it as a date, it is the day that Pope Francis became the Pope in the year 2013. And I've talked a lot about Kobe Bryant and how he has ties to Philadelphia just like Pope Francis. Uh, Kobe is even born um, in Philadelphia, and he also grew up in Italy. So, I mean, interesting, you know. Vatican City in Rome, Italy. Kobe grew up in Italy. 
I've also even talked about how Mark of the Beast, or the Mark of the Beast, 600, 3 score, and 6, adds up to 133, and 133 and 313. Interesting, you know? The, both the days that Pope Francis became the Pope. So interesting, Kobe tore his Achilles tendon against the Warriors in 2013. It's also 30 days after Pope Francis became the Pope. Um, but, I mean, just look at this. So he, they won. He got... Uh, he led the Lakers to their 43rd win, the mirror of 34. Kobe even scored 34 points in this game. Not to mention it happened on April 12th, which is the same day that the Civil War in the United States even began. Kobe was even 34 years old at the time. Actually, Kobe was 133 days it was 133 days before Kobe's 35th birthday even. What I just say about 133, how it ties into Pope Francis. Interesting too, the next time that Kobe Bryant played a game versus the Golden State Warriors was on 11-1 of 2014. And, uh, I mean, just interesting, 11-1, kind of all the stuff tying into Queen Elizabeth we talked about with the World Series and tons of other stuff, um, but... Golden State won this game with 111 points. Also, the Houston Rockets, the year that they won, or they had 15 in a row, the game that they lost on, they scored 111 points, just like the Warriors, but they lost. And the Hawks beat them with 133 points. Both interesting numbers. I also found it interesting the date of this game, the, the Hawks versus the Rockets, December 3rd, 1993. If you go to the game from last night, uh, it is a span of 21 years, 11 months, 21 days. I don't know, just an interesting interesting number. We've talked about 21 a lot, um, especially with Kevin Gardett and whatnot. Like, I'm just going to end up making another video that it actually ties into the 94 Rockets or whatever. But just interesting number. I've also mentioned the Philadelphia train over and over and over this year. It all tied back into Pope Francis. The train was going, uh, it was it wrecked at 9.23 p.m. It was going 106 miles an hour. The engine number was 601. The, um, the train number was 188. And literally 111 and 77 adds up to 188 even. And also I forgot to mention how it ties into Civil War and Abraham Lincoln. It's because Abraham Lincoln was supposedly really killed by the Jesuits. Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope. He also has a lot of ties to Golden State. Golden State adds up to 122, just like Pope Francis. They play in the San Francisco Bay Area, San Francisco 122. San Francisco and Pope Francis are both named after St. Francis of Assisi. Interesting too, Kobe Bryant's 81-point game that everybody knows. I talked about 1981 being 34 years ago. 1934, 81 years ago, and that's how it all ties into this year. It was all planned for this year, for whatever the reason. But Kobe Bryant's 81-point game was even on 122. Interesting too, if you add up the dates, like here, whatever, one plus 22 plus 20 plus six. This is 2006. It adds up to 49. And then also the day that he tore his Achilles adds up to 49. Interesting too, and I made a video on this before, but the, like the Lakers even scored 122 points that game. There was a whole bunch of other things in this game that were just ridiculous. So the whole point was that uh, to break the NBA record then, the uh, Golden State Warriors had to get their 16th win, right? So it's all about 16. Interesting, the date numerology, uh, if you add up, each individual number of the date, it adds up to 16. And get this. Let's go to the play-by-play -play here. I remember watching this, and the Lakers were doing awful. And they finally got 16 points. And I kept thinking about the 16, 16-0 16 and 0 and getting their 16th point. Look who got the Lakers' 16th point. Kobe Bryant got their 16th point. And look what the score was, 16 to 34. Also, it was with 10-14 left in the second quarter, which is the six, in the 16th minute of the game. So in the 16th minute of the game, Kobe Bryant gets the 16th point for the Lakers. 
And then Golden State even had 34 points at the time on a date that even adds up to 16. Interesting, too, uh, the score finally changed then at 9.22 left in the second quarter. Or, yeah, 9.22, perfect time for it. Pope Francis came to the United States on 9.22, which was his 923rd day as Pope. Like I said, went to the White House at 9.23 in the morning on 9.23. He's the 266th Pope. That's also the 266th day of the year. Interesting, too, 922 is a whole bunch of other things. I talked about Joseph Smith and the Mormons. That's when he was able to take the golden plates. Think of the United States, the beginning 239 years ago. King George III was coronated on 922. He was the longest reigning monarch at the time. Then he was passed by Queen Victoria, who surpassed him on 922. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's some strange stuff. And then Queen Elizabeth just recently passed Victoria this year on 9-9, and 922 and 99 are the same day when you convert them Gregorian to Julian. In this game, Kobe Bryant was also 1 of 14 shooting, and I mean, he looks so terrible this year, they look faked. There's no way that he he's just that awful. I'm sorry, 8th graders can make shots like that. He's just throwing up bricks, airballing it. It looks it looks to me like he's doing it on purpose almost. But uh, anyway, 1 of 14 shooting in Gematria, 266, just like the 266th Pope. Also 1 of 14 in Pythagorean Gematria, adds up to 113, just like Kobe Bryant's name, just like Michael Jordan's name. And you know how they try to compare Kobe to Michael Jordan, and now they're starting to try to do it with Stephon Curry or Stephen Curry, even though, you know, it's a completely different game and whatnot. Also, 1 of 14 kind of just looks like 114. 114 adds up to 212. The Lakers just lost, so now they're 2 and 12. That's Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Lots of other stuff with it. Interesting thing about Abe Lincoln's birthday, too. 212, February 12th. But in England, they would write it like that. 12-2. Kind of like 122, once again, going with Pope Francis. Also interesting then, the Golden State Warriors broke an NBA record. NBA record adds up to 80. Interesting that Kobe Bryant, in this article, um, he talks about how it wouldn't have mattered if he scored 80 points, it wouldn't have made a damn difference or something. Why would he say 80 points? You know, he scored 81 points. you think he would have said a completely different number. Why 80? That makes no sense. And it just has to tie into this, because they broke the NBA record, and the NBA record equals 80. Also, look at some of these times on these videos they had up last night. 144, literally, tons of stuff with that. Mark of the Beast adds up to 144. The last 144 digits of pi after the decimal add up to 666. It's also, as a date, is the day that Abraham Lincoln got shot. I mean, tons of other stuff. Uh, April 4th adds up to 144, like 4 4. 44 adds up to 144. Obama's the 44th president. A lot of this number ties into the assassination of a president. This one doesn't have any players, so I kind of skipped over it. Just interesting that. It's just a guy talking. Then they got this one 1 minute 22 seconds, 122, with green here. Also, green was for Michigan State, so. Could be a tie into Lubricalia. Also, look, the 16 second of St Stephen Curry. I keep saying Stefan because I'm thinking of Urkel. I had a video about that uh, a lot last year, whatever, about how the Steve Urkel predicted the finals. Um, then 139 even. Freemasonry adds up to 139. Um, just a few more things, then I'm going to make a different video. But uh, the, the 111 also goes with... 111 adds up to 81. It just goes with the Kobe Bryant game, the 81-point game. What's interesting about that game is that when Kobe scored 81 points, uh, like I said, on 122, they scored 122. The next game they played the Warriors, though. But uh, this game was also the 41st game of the season, his 81-point game. Kobe Bryant even adds up to 41, like Skull and Bones. Also interesting that the Warriors won the finals last year on this day, and if you go to this game, it's 161 days or 5 months, 8 days, and Gematria 
161 is American Civil War, and Los Angeles Lakers equals 58. But, yep, have a good one.